Let's just take a second and zoom in on the technical brilliance of Casemiro and why I believe he is still one of the greatest midfielders in the world at this moment. Now, before all of you ballers come from my neck and say, John, this isn't anything too serious, allow me to explain because as the sequence pans out, it shows every single aspect of Casemiro's brilliance and it gets saucier, trust me. Casemiro won possession more times than any other player against Barcelona. He won it 14 times, an absolute rock in front of his back four and true guardian to say the least. One of the reasons why I love Casemiro so much is he made makes football look easy. And this sequence starts off relatively simple. Casemiro is just running back, sheltering his back four. This is where I just want to zoom in real closely on Casemiro and just show you guys why I see his brilliance. It starts off like this. Sergio Roberto, his first touch, just opens the ball in front of him. He sees right in front of him, Aaron Bissaka. Casemiro, by law of numbers, is the extra man available. He could just jump in, put some physical pressure on him, but instead of diving in like a headless chicken, watch what Casemiro does here so well. Sergio Roberto, with his second touch, actually takes the touch with his right foot away from him. And Casemiro, Casemiro, in a millisecond, observes this and he dives in to try and force Sergio Roberto into an error, which he successfully does very, very well. And there's a reason why Casemiro won possession more times than any other player, because these are the things he did so well. I timed this actually, and it actually came out to 0.2 second. A fifth of a second, Casemiro, on his heels, was able to jump in and decide quickly to, to challenge uh, Sergio Roberto's error. Absolutely brilliant. That's not where it ends. Now Bruno Fernandes is scanning his options. Casemiro, as any decent footballer would, runs forward into the strike to become the passing option for Bruno Fernandes. But in this sequence, Bruno Fernandes, while he receives the ball with his back towards the opposition goal, he actually allows the ball just to ride into his rhythm and by opening his body this way, puts his back towards Jadon Sancho. So as he's playing this sequence out, he has no idea Jadon Sancho is making the run behind him. Casemiro might think that's the case and that's why he slows down because he thinks Bruno is going to feed Jadon Sancho, but Bruno Fernandes actually doesn't see Jadon Sancho and that's why he actually picks out Marcus Rashford in front of him. This is where Casemiro makes football look so easy. In this situation, Marcus Rashford, he has his right foot lifted and his left foot planted, which obviously means that the ball is going to be first touch passed into the path of Casemiro. Casemiro, having seen Jadon Sancho making the run, he knows that the only way Jadon Sancho is still going to be effective with his run is if Casemiro plays Jadon Sancho in with a first touch long pass over the top. But the thing gets a little bit tricky here because Marcus Rashford actually almost sort of beams the ball slightly to Casemiro. And Casemiro, while he was kind of expecting a luxurious opportunity to pass, finds himself having to readjust his body shape as quickly as possible. If it was an average midfielder, Casemiro would just take the touch and just play the ball. But what Casemiro has already decided in this case is I'm going to play Jadon Sancho in. I don't care how it, I don't care how it happens. I'm going to play him in. So Casemiro readjusts his body shape as quickly as possible because the only other pass he can make in this case is still with his right foot but with the outside and he readjusts quickly enough just in time in a matter of 0.3 seconds and to hit the ball with the outside of his right foot and almost Travella pass into Jadon Sancho the sequence sort of phases out but what's brilliant about Casemiro here is he wasn't thinking about if he should play the first touch pass he was thinking how do I play that first touch pass and in Casemiro's locker he has all kinds of passing available left footed right footed outside inside all of that stuff he identified in that split second and executed what he found to be the most threatening pass in that moment and that's what makes Casemiro so absolutely mother flipping brilliant and I cannot love him any more than I love him now for real.